guys welcome to another video on my channel so today what we're doing is i'm finally going to be installing this bad boy i already have it kind of torn apart uh just a cat scan out of there really but i am going to be installing this today the grid heater delete i have these obviously i only need these two but yes so i already have um, some of the intake um, out or some of the intake bolts out for the intake horn. Uh, I'm just getting out this last bolt and cut myself too. Awesome. Uh, but I'm going to get that out and then we are going to start uh, getting that horn off there. And hopefully we'll be able to get this done soon. This already unbolted. I just have to get this off of here. I think I'm actually going to paint this. So actually I'll show you something. Uh, because I'm gonna, this is going to be probably my next video um, right here. So, if you guys can guess what it is, put it down in the comments. All right, so as I was saying, I got this intake horn off of there. Um, I'm going to be getting these uh, fuel lines off. And I disconnected this plug right here. This is the uh, injector harness plug right here. I may actually cut off that zip tie. I know somebody said that I have a lot of zip ties, but you know what? Zip ties work. So that's why I have them on here. Let me move this boost out of the way. Sorry, the camera's probably all wiggly right now, but that's just how it is. So, all right, so um, I have that pretty much done on there. And what I'm gonna do next, so I'll show you. So I'm pretty much laying out my tools though. Right here, or not tools, but the parts and whatnot. I put, kind of fix that up, uh, but I, I kind of, Move this. I'm probably gonna take this bracket off since I don't have anything to put it on to. Um, I do still have my, I don't know if, I, I don't think I made a video about it, but I did, yeah. So that, that's that's called the uh, race plug or something like that, fuel race plug. Uh, so I have, I have that on there and we're going to be just getting this grid heater out of there and I gotta unbolt all the fuel lines and take them out and should be good to go all right so we got this first fuel line pretty much off of there uh so i'll tell you something i'll show you something actually so i bought this a while ago this is actually the tool this is actually a coming tool it's like 45 bucks on amazon but they have two of them they have this one and they have the one this is for the isb and they have one for the isx so it's a fuel line or a fuel rail line um wrench it's way handy because i'm instead of getting them in with a with a uh, with a regular wrench, I got there with the socket wrench. And then now, this first one is about to be off of there. Yep, just like that. There's a little bit of fuel. So I didn't know I didn't know if there's fuel coming out or whatever, but um, yeah, so I, that's the first one. I'll put that in line. And then, yeah, pretty much you just go to all the other five of them and undo that. Unbolt the, uh, so this right here is the Oh, you can't really see it, I guess. Right back here, the sensor. You can't really see the sensor, I guess, now. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. So right here, there you go, now you can see it. Right here is the uh, intake air temperature sensor. And so essentially, that's the, pretty much the only plug you're gonna keep on that. Um, as in uh, the other videos that they have on here. I'm not gonna go like, super in depth onto this because Everybody, there was a lot of, or not a lot, but there's some videos on this. And it pretty much explains to you how to do all this stuff. So I'm pretty much just going to do time lapse and we'll get this all disconnected and whatnot. So, all right. Okay, guys. So I got <laughs> most of them off. Um, that one, I'm, I'm just working on this number four right here. Uh, it's weird because so three goes behind four and this is four right here in front of it on the rail itself on the manifold. Uh, but, or like on the fuel manifold, but it goes in different order. So, but I mean, they only go one way, so you don't really have to worry about it. Like you can mix them up, you can probably throw them into a park and pick them out and put, you know, put them back on there, but it's hot out here in Georgia. So, uh, but yeah, let me finish getting these lines off here and yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay. So I got pretty much all those lines off. Everything almost disconnected. I just have to get, um, I gotta move that out of the way. Uh, so this right here, just like you guys seen in the videos with the grid heater. Uh, so I'm going to do that. 
and I just have to finish kind of disconnecting these lines. I may actually leave number six injector line on there, uh, mainly because I can't get that off of the block. I cannot get anything in there. So I don't have any shorty wrenches. That's 19 uh, in that one. That socket does not really work uh, for that side. For the block side, it works in the first three or first two or first three and uh, because of how the location is. Uh, but then after that, it doesn't really work. So, um, but not a big deal. We will get, this is for the CP3 right here. So I already have that disconnected. I get this disconnected right here. I gotta cut that zip tie so it stops going off. So yeah, so we are in business though. We are pretty, doing pretty well. Uh, I just have to kind of see, I, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how many bolts there really are on this and where those risers go. So hopefully it won't take too much longer and yeah, we can get it done today. All right guys, so I got that out of there. Uh, this is the old intake plenum, the grid heater or heater grid, whatever you want to say it is. You get all that set on there. That is crazy right there. And then obviously that's the post, uh, which I, obviously you don't have to use again because it's for the heater grid or the actual um, ground for the heater grid. Uh, so here I have it laid out. It's pretty much how everything goes. Um, this is the intake air temperature. Yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the camera. Uh, I gotta clean it off and I'm gonna clean everything off pretty much and make sure that everything is good. Um, so it came with these risers. So the neighbor kids are loud there outside playing. Summertime, so it's sweaty. Um, yeah, so if you look at this, uh, pretty much you can just do a like, kind of like a lay it out. Uh, how you know, I'll move these over just a little bit. That's why I wanted to get this off, obviously. So what you can do is lay it out to where these. Okay, so I took it out of the package so we can see. So what I did is I'm gonna put this in there, but not right the second. So what you can do is you can go through here and pretty much just see. Obviously, these right here are for the actual uh, intake elbow itself, which I have right back here, which I may finish painting. I got to clean it up a little bit and just kind of paint it because it was on the truck when I painted it. All right. So what you can do is you can kind of go on here and you see uh, this is a low one. So you leave that low one right there, and then back here, so you have that one. Right there, I know this one goes back here. Cause that one second. Oh yeah, there you go, right there. So that's how it kind of lays out. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about um, having to go back and forth on there. And then also here's another tip too. Uh, I gotta try to get it off there still. I can't really see it. But on the back of the manifold, um, there is a, uh, like a wire. I'm pretty sure it's the manifold absolute, absolute pressure sensor. And I got to get that off there still. And then I'm going to go through here and clean everything up. Because obviously that ain't going to work. <laughs> so, all right. Let me get that done. And I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay. I can't get that disconnect on there. So, I'm going to just leave it. Uh, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, pretty much easy. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to just uh, leave this on here. And... I'll slide that under there and then um, put it on top of there, obviously, and then tighten down the number six on top of this. Uh, that way it'll stay. And then, I mean, it, it's pretty much straightforward from there. You pretty much just slide it on there, make sure that everything is lined up. Like, obviously, the um, make sure that the, uh, what is it called? A little couple pieces in here. Make sure that, that uh, everything is lined up on there. And then once you do that, then, I mean, it's pretty much straightforward from there. You just take all the all the uh, risers the little um spacer bolt with spacers right here spacer rings and you just pretty much slide them underneath the manifold put the bolts through i mean make sure that the gasket is lined up on there uh it's pretty easy uh so i'm gonna get that on there i have a kind of not lined up on here but um i'm gonna get that on there and pretty much just goes like this so that should be pretty um pretty easy to do I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So I'll get it put on there, get it kind of bolted in a little bit, unless you guys see how it is. And yeah, I mean, let's get it done. All right, so I wanted to show you kind of something about this. So this is the uh, intake air, air temperature sensor. I'm, I'm like 90% sure that's what it is. 
Uh, so I just kind of cleaned it off. There's a bunch of soot. I don't know if you guys can really see it. But yeah, so there was a bunch of soot on it. And I kind of just used my knife just lightly, kind of how you would with like an AR or AR-15 or, you know, whatever. And you kind of just um, chisel away at the carbon on there, the carbon buildup. Uh, that way it's all clean and it'll actually be effective at telling you the actual air temperature. <laughs> well, not me. I don't really have an air temp sensor, but it'll tell the computer, you know, the correct temperature whatnot if, if that's what it was before. Uh, so yeah, so another little tip, uh, obviously the actual intake manifold is not on here yet. Um, but just to get lined up with the, uh, I put that right there cause obviously I couldn't take it off. So what I, what I did just to make it easier on myself is I just put this and this in there. So it kind of lines up that gasket. So whenever you go to put it in there, since they're kind of far back, uh, you don't have to worry about it being all, um, all camera's not even on it, uh, not all crooked and whatnot. All right, so we got that pretty much in there. Um, pretty much all we have to do now is uh, just finish securing these bolts, uh, put the injector lines back on. I gotta finish bolting obviously all of them down. I don't wanna get them super tight yet so I can actually get those to work into there. So look, I can still you know, tighten this up by hand, which is good, but that looks pretty dang good in there. I would definitely suggest you guys invest in one of these things. Uh, they're pretty nice because you don't have to and it's just from Harbor Freight, but it makes it to where, well, it doesn't stick there. But, um, you know, if I put it right here, have my bolts right there, pick them up. But obviously, I don't need to do it in a second. So, yeah, I would I would say, though, um, the easy way, or obviously, the way I did it, I didn't even take off the number six injector. Uh, I just left it on there. I'm going to tighten it down to make sure that it's tight, tight. But, yeah, other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. But I'm just definitely glad I got rid of this thing though. I don't I don't use it. I I mean the winter I think it on like 20s, maybe in the teens, probably not though. So I would say, you know, if you if you don't want to take off the number six injector, you definitely do not have to. It's not it is an option to take it off. So uh, just make sure that you don't bend it. Obviously, I, I was very careful because I don't really want to spend money on one of these lines. I'm pretty sure they are not a cheap line because there's two bends in it and that's about a hundred dollars bend so you know uh, not really but so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to well not think but i know what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just throw everything on there and uh tighten her down uh put the manifold on there now i'll probably spray that real quick with black while i get these injector lines on there that way it's fully covered in black um not just like halfway covered uh, I was kind of in a hurry before because it was kind of late, and so I sprayed it like that, and I, you know, kind of looks like crap, but it's not a big deal. I'm about to put everything blue pretty much on there. Um, that intake uh, horn will be blue once I get more of the patriotic blue, which is that color right there. So my garage is kind of a mess, uh, but yeah, that's that color right there. I sprayed that yesterday, and I taped it all off. Obviously, you did about. Uh, three coats of that and three coats of I sand it down first. It just you know, so it kind of scraps up a little bit. I'm probably gonna have black and uh, freaking stuff over my face, but sand it down and I did three coats of automotive primer. Uh, that way it's sealed up. It's not super hard. I was gonna do my coils, but I'm not going to just because they're already powder coated gray from Rough Country and you know, whatever. But hey, if you guys do like this video though, before I finish it out. Um, go ahead down there and click that like button, comment and please comment. That's how I grow this channel and I get, um, you know, more feedback, the better. And hopefully you guys are liking this video. Uh, this is just like a basic, uh, grid heater install kind of basic. Obviously the five lines easier. It's like, you know, a bolt and you're done. Uh, not really, but it's, it's way easier because you don't have this whole plenum like, like we do on the 6.7 liter. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's finish it out though. All right. All right, guys, so I did it finally. And you probably can't barely hear me at all, but there she is. I painted this blue. It's kind of chipped off, so I'm going to have to touch it up, obviously. But, yeah, I mean, I put my cat scan on there. Got all the lines on there. They're all tight. It was leaking, so I forgot to figure <laughs> freaking hook up the line down here, but it's good now. Um, but, yeah, let's see if there's any uh, check engine lights. No check engine lights because I have it. Obviously, it's tuned. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll go on a test drive here in a minute. I just want to kind of cycle through the fuel and uh, get that pressure up a little bit. The 
pump is actually a little quieter now, but let's uh, we'll go wash it up and then we'll go on a drive. Okay guys, so we're gonna go on a quick little drive just around the block. I'm not gonna gun it or anything like that. We're just gonna kinda make sure that everything is G2G. Um, for you non-acronym users, that's good to go. Right? So we'll go this way a little bit. I cannot wait to have you guys see what is in store this next week. So, just kind of want to make sure that it's running good. Oh, it's all wet. That's why I was like, that's my fuel. <laughs> it was not my fuel, obviously. So, let's see. It sounds about the same. It's not really... Difference. I think I, I don't know. I hear the spool up a little better, but I don't know, we'll see. A little bit better. It's a, it's a little bit smoother uh, spool up. You know, it's not like uh, just kind of like a uh, lagginess. It's not really lag. It didn't really lag before, anyways. That's because my BGT is still on here, but. Um, go down here just a little bit and see if we can hit it up a little bit you know just to see if you guys can maybe you guys can hear it um you can see let's see here i love the sound of the of the vgt once it starts uh getting going smokiness uh, but it, it may just be because I cleaned out all that so now it you know it actually can smoke so let me roll up these windows actually I'll roll off in a second you guys want to see more videos like this obviously I, I usually just do uh, you know install videos or whatever but if you guys want more videos like this you know let me know and we will you know get get them so go ahead and uh drop a comment drop that thumbs up down there uh and subscribe to my channel and yeah go ahead and hit the instagram as well for more content and i'll see you guys next time america